AS4655 Fire Safety Systems Audits. So when we're talking about this system here, this is where we're auditing fire protection equipment either on level 1, 2 or 3 depending on the type of audit that the fire equipment requires to work out the servicing requirements or what requirements of the building's specifications that are required which have been either set by council or to maintain the current specifications of the building that's um, currently managed. So if we look at the Australian standard which em emphasises the importance of audits or as a benchmark, as an auditing tool to look after the, the building and to keep it at its optimum operating conditions. So with any quality management system we need to have a manual in place with procedures and forms so we know there's a, a standardised approach to audit the, the fire equipment against the standards to make sure that they'll be effective in the event of a fire. So the outcomes of an audit will be that you'll have an effective audit program, you'll have audit schedule on the basis of risks on the importance of these processes, we need to have an effective audit checklist, we also need to re review and follow up the corrective actions that have been raised and table them at a management review meeting for action for corrective action for the next 12 months or on the condition of the, the equipment. So you can either contact Sydney or myself and we can help you in the right direction to either conduct an audit or to offer some services which will be able to help you manage your building more effectively.